Uh, Jack Dawkins, J-A-C-K-D-A-W-K-I-N-S. <clears throat> and first, uh, I'd like the record to reflect this, that 21 people have spoken for the Keystone XL pipeline so far. Um, I'm number 74, and all of those people have had direct or indirect ties to the oil and gas industry and have not been Nebraskan landowners, to my knowledge. So I'd like that to be on the record there. Thank you. So I'm 22 years old. I've come to talk about something I often hear, and that is the idea that my generation doesn't care and that we're too complacent. While this is not true, I've figured out the reason it might seem this way. It's because it was your generation's job to convince us to buy what you're selling, and your generation has failed. <clears throat> you have failed in many ways, but the first and most obvious way lies in the fact that I felt the need to skip class in Denver, Colorado, to come here and tell our federal state department the difference between right and wrong. Yeah. For over half of my life, our country has been off fighting crime in the name of freedom and democracy around the globe. But tell me, where is the freedom and justice in your own country? A place where our own government is letting a foreign corporation steal, lie, and destroy our property. Is that fair and just? What if instead of TransCanada doing these things, it was an individual or an individual group? I'm sure that the entire US military would be scouring the globe to find whatever terrorist was doing this to our citizens. But instead, it's a company. <clears throat> Instead, it's a company, and instead of our country standing up for its citizens who are struggling with death, disease, and destruction, our country is standing up for this company. At the age of 22, it is difficult to listen to any more talk about this economy versus environment jargon, whatever the hell it is. <clears throat> Even my four-year-old niece could tell you which one is real and which one is made up. It's even harder when recent studies are telling me this planet might be tough, if not impossible, to live on at my age of retirement. You've really, left me, <clears throat> you've really left me with no other option than to fight this pipeline and anything else threatening the future. If you do not have the moral backbone to stop this atrocity from happening, don't, su don't be surprised when the people use their power to stop it themselves. One thing TransCanada has neglected to mention is that the southern leg of this pipeline is well behind schedule, less than halfway done as their last report, <clears throat> when originally expected it would be done around this month. The reason is because they have been they have been losing court cases, along with facing 79-year-old grandmothers locking themselves to construction equipment. <laughs> By even considering this project, you are doubting the courage, determination, and the willpower of every Nebraskan landowner standing in this room, and every indigenous person who has the inherent right to this land. The people had to fight our government to abolish slavery, and we're ready to do it again. In closing, I'm thoroughly convinced that you have failed me and the rest of the youth in this room, worldwide, and the seven generations to come. All that I ask is that you, is that you actually prove me wrong. Prove me wrong by stopping this pipeline and stopping these eco-terrorists from destroying my future and this planet. Thank you.